This patient has rheumatoid arthritis with a moderate right knee effusion. For the lateral approach to the knee joint, the patient is lying supine with the knee extended. Identify the superior and inferior poles of the patella. The injection point is between the superior and middle thirds in the lateral parapatella groove. Tilt the patella by applying pressure on the medial side and mark the injection point using a retractable pen. These injections should always be done using sterile precautions. A no-touch technique is used, meaning that once the area is cleaned, it must not be touched with anything but sterile needles. Scrub the site and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using Providen solution. This is then followed by isopropyl alcohol. Allow the area to dry a bit and then apply local anesthetic. I am using 2% xylocaine with a 25 gauge needle and inserting down to the joint capsule as well as into the subcutaneous tissue. Always immediately apply the safety mechanism. I will wait a couple minutes for that to take effect. Here I have a 20 mil syringe with a 21 gauge, one and a half inch needle. I advance the needle aiming medially and a bit inferiorly. You will feel a give as the needle breaches the joint capsule. Aspirate as much fluid as possible. It is useful to apply pressure and then release in between. It is also helpful to apply some pressure on the knee to help the fluid escape. I got just about 17 cc's. Leaving the needle in place, you can switch syringes. Being careful not to touch the tip of the syringe and the needle. I will inject 60 milligrams of Depomedrol Mix with 2% xylocaine up to a volume of 5 mils. The solution should go in freely. Immediately apply the safety mechanism. Dry the area and then apply a bandage.